Maya Wiley joins us now. Uh, so Maya, I, I will. I, I, I was surprised by Roberts. I because I, I suspected that Roberts, who is always, he's always been sort of an evolution, not revolution, uh, a guy on the court. There, we uh, famously remember him saying, "I'm not going to overturn Obamacare." You guys do that in the ballot box, not. But yesterday, the fact that he moved from viability to 15 weeks, to me at least, suggests that he knows that Kavanaugh. Connie Barrett and the other conservatives on the court are moving fast towards completely overturning Roe. I think you're right, Joe. I mean, we were all yesterday when we were listening with Jose Diaz Ballard saying, you know, Roberts is the one to watch here. You know, we knew the likelihood of at least three justices where they would be on Roe because, you know, they've got a record, they've got statements, they've got public positions, they've got dissents. Roberts is the institutionalist, as you right. point out, as, as the person who said in the Louisiana uh, uh, case that involved making it difficult for abortion clinics to operate because of admitting pri privileges for doctors. That was a case where in Texas he said, no, I think it's fine for Texas to be able to make it hard for abortion doctors to operate by admitting privileges. But in Louisiana he said, well, that's what we said in Texas. We've got to say it in Louisiana. So here in this case, where we have not just 50 years of precedent, Casey, Casey, the Supreme right. Court case from 1992, that did reaffirm Roe and all that follows it, he, in his questioning, essentially ignores the precedent, essentially ignores the fact that viability, whether or not a fetus can survive on its own, is not the conversation. For him to say choice is for him to ignore actually what the legal arguments are in the case. And again, let's unwind this again for people viewing. For him to say that is a real tell about how far the other five conservative justices come. Because, because I sense, I don't know, but just again, just judging by his record, he's an institutionalist. John Roberts does not want to overturn a 50-year precedent that 70% of Americans don't want overturned unless he thinks, you know, yeah. he's just, he's trying to keep him at least at 15 weeks. He doesn't want Roe overturned. Well, especially if you consider how this case got to where it is. Because originally Mississippi didn't go as far as saying, let's over, let's go for a straight out attack on Roe v. Wade and say, overrule it. It really didn't. Uh, and then what happens is the balance of the court changes. Right. And then Mississippi says, here we go. We've got, we may have the votes now. That's exactly what Robert, Justice Roberts has said the court should never do. That precedent, and he has said this in writing, he said precedent is about the principles that say judges can, cannot be political and should not be. And that's why precedent matters. That is why Justice Sotomayor made the point she made. That was a message to the justices, not a question to the lawyers, to say, do we understand what we are really about to do here? Because what we're <laughs> about to do is tell people it's just political. The bench is just political. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.